Thanks for everyone showing up on, on short notice. I know this was a bit of a, a, a fire drill this morning. Um, I'm going to start with a pretty extensive list of thank yous here, so um, bear, bear with me. Um, this, is, this is important. Um, first, um, I, I want to thank Mark and, and his family. Um, seven years ago, Mark gave me the opportunity to live out the ultimate dream of every baseball obsessed kid. Um, and the past seven years have been an absolute blast for me. Um, Mark has taken me into his family. He's helped me grow as an executive. Um, and, and he's supported our, our baseball initiatives and our baseball decisions. Um, you know, Mark's, Mark's competitiveness and passion for the Brewers um, are unparalleled, um, and, and they make our successes possible. To our entire ownership group, um, thank you for trusting me. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for supporting um, our strategic direction. To Rick Schlesinger, Marty Ronsky, Tyler Barnes, our, our entire business ops leadership. Um, I've enjoyed our friendship, um, the occasional barb, um, and appreciated your unyielding enthusiasm for our team. To Matt, thank you for being an incredible partner throughout this journey. Your counsel, your stability, your humor, um, has kept us going in the right direction. And uh, we'll, we'll have a little bit more time to talk about Matt here um, in, in a moment. To our entire um, baseball operations group, um, our coaches, uh, our training staff, our scouts, um, too numerous to, to name individually here, but um, it's your creativity your work ethic, your talent um, that has allowed our organization to, to get to where it is now um, and will unquestionably push the Brewers further in the years to come. To Craig, um, your leadership has been invaluable to this organization um, and your friendship personally um, has been invaluable to me. To our players, it has been an absolute privilege to watch the best in the world perform every single night. Thank you for, for representing our organization so well. To the media, thank you for covering our team. Thank you for spreading our game. And thank you for being fair. And finally, um, to the fans, from the moment I showed up here, um, you made me feel welcome and you made this feel like home. Your support, your passion for our team is what makes this all possible. It's what makes this all enjoyable. Um, you deserve a World Series and I believe you will get one. I know this decision, my decision to step down, comes somewhat as a surprise and provokes some questions. This has not been an easy decision for me. This is something I've, I've been wrestling with for some time. Mark and I have had an open dialogue really for years um, about what I'm seeking for my career, where I am personally, and what all of that means for the organization. I think we, we both knew um, that at some point this day could come, and we wanted to make sure that when it did, the organization was properly positioned with very strong leadership going forward. Over the past few months, our discussions about the transition have come into focus, um, and, and my feelings about the timing of the transition 
um, became a little bit more concrete. I think Mark wanted to give me some time into the off season to ensure that I felt this was the right decision. Um, and it is. This is a job that requires complete and total commitment. It's not only requires total commitment in the present, it requires total commitment in the future. When I began to hesitate about whether I could make that commitment, I knew it was really time to contemplate a change. Working in this game is, is an incredible privilege. It has been for me. Um, I think most of us pursue this line of work because of an innate passion and love we have of baseball. Um, baseball is a big part of me. I suspect it's always going to be a big part of me. I also recognize there are other parts of life. And at this point, I'm looking forward to gaining some time that I haven't really had before. I'm looking forward to taking a deep breath. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family, I'm looking forward to spending time with friends. And I'm looking forward to pursuing some other interests. I'm also not going anywhere. I'm going to be here in Milwaukee. I'm committed to serving Mark and Matt in an advisory capacity as the organization works through this transition. One of the reasons I believe now is the right time is because I believe the organization is particularly well positioned to have this transition. Matt is a premier executive. He has declined outside opportunities, multiple outside opportunities to remain committed to the Brewers it's committed to Milwaukee. He has earned this opportunity, and I'm very confident the organization is in great hands. So with that, I'll turn it over to Matt to, to say a few words, and then we'll be happy to, to take questions. Thank you, David. Um, so my, uh, my journey probably started very similar to, to David, um, you know, going to games as a, as a, as a young kid um, with my dad and um, my grandfather and, 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 and my dad's brothers uh, sitting in the bleachers and, and, and coming from that moment uh, to now, I think, is, is, is incredibly humbling. Um, I'm thankful to so many people uh, for this opportunity. I think first and foremost, David Stearns, uh, for his belief in me uh, from day one, uh, has been an incredible teammate, uh, could not ask for a better partner uh, along the way. Um, to Mark Atanasio for his trust, uh, in me uh, and for his support for this franchise since I got here um, has been phenomenal. Um, you know, and, and, and look, I, I've been doing this for, for now over 20 years. Um, worn a lot of hats in the game. Uh, I, I feel like I'm ready for this, but, but that being said, um, these are enormous jobs as, as David is, is acknowledging here today. And uh, it takes a huge team to, to be successful here. And, and that's what we have. Uh, and that's a huge credit to David uh, and the foundation that he's, uh, he's built here. Uh, and all we can do is, is just to continue to, to build on that momentum. And, and I'm really excited about that. Um, and look, ultim ultimately, uh, hopefully that momentum leads us to where we want to be, which is, is, is to, to bring a World Series here to Milwaukee. Great. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, open it up to questions. David, you're right, Ali, that questions about what comes next for you is a big thing that fans are wondering. Can, can you clarify what you mean by your leader in Milwaukee? Does that mean serving out this year and then see what comes next? Yeah. Uh, look, I, I understand people want to know what comes next. And, and the truth is, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not going into this with, with any plan. I think, um, I, I think sort of my generation and I, a segment of my generation, and I will certainly put myself in this group, um, is sort of like afflicted with this condition where we feel like every single thing must be planned out. And decision A must lead to decision B, must lead to decision C. Um, in this case, I'm making decision A because I think it's the right thing to do. Um, and I don't know what B and C will be, um, but I know that, that decision A is the right thing to do for me. Um, I'm very much looking forward to, to doing what I can for Matt, um, and I'm going to enjoy that. 
and I'm also going to enjoy some time away. So can I follow up on that? Yep. Just, are we correct in thinking you and Mark would have talked through what happens if another team comes to you with an opportunity that interests you? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I'm, yes. So in terms of ever having a baseball operations job, again, sometime in the future, that's just kind of up in the air, but not in the short term. Yes, yeah, so I, that's right. That's right. Dave, when you said you have maybe pursue some other interests, do you have a desire to stay in baseball for the rest of your professional career? I mean, you're a pretty young guy to enter into an advisory role. So I, I, I love baseball. Um, baseball has been an enormous part of my life. Um, and I anticipate it will continue to be an enormous part of my life. Um, in what capacity, I think, remains to be seen. I, I think that could be every, anywhere from being a, a fan and a really passionate fan um, to one day working again in, in a senior leadership position. Um, I'm not really going to close any doors, um, but but I know this is the right time to um, to exhale a little bit. Matt, David said that you turned down a lot of jobs. Why did you continue to turn down those jobs to stay in Milwaukee? Uh, a big part of it is 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 to work with with David and and also with the team here. Um, you know, we, we have um, a lot of things. I've worked for ten different general managers over the course of my career. Um, not certainly by design, uh, but but I, I know what a, a good situation. I think I know what a good situation is, um, and this is a great situation. And so. Uh, whether I'm at, at, at the head of the table or, a, or at the, a, have a seat at the table, it's somewhere where I wanted to be. What do you consider a great situation? The Milwaukee Brewers. David, did, uh, <clears throat> did the way the season transpired um, hasten your decision at all did, in, in, in the short term, or was that just something that was in the works well before the way? I, I, I don't think so. This is something um, I have been contemplating for many months and, and before the trajectory or the outcome of our season became apparent. So, so I don't think so. Is there anything that led to you contemplating it? You mentioned not being able to be fully, you know, there's questions about being fully in to, mm -hmm. to make the decision. What, what contributed to, yeah. to, to this point? I, I think when you go through jobs like these, um, there comes a point where taking a step back and exhaling um, is healthy. Um, and uh, that's, that's where I am right now. Um, I want to spend time with my family. Um, I want to be able to, um, pursue some other things that I just haven't had the opportunity, um, to pursue yet in my career. Um, where ultimately that leads, I don't know right now. Um, but, uh, I'm very much looking forward to, um, to having that time uh, to reflecting on all the incredible things that have happened to me and that I've experienced, um, and then and then going from there. You've been contemplating it for several months. At what point did you realize this was kind of the likely outcome? I know you had said after the season, Mark had given you some time to think it over. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly when that defining moment was. Um, Mark and I have had continuous conversations and discussions. Um, you know, I, I think Mark um, had encouraged me to, um, to consider doing another year and then, and then reevaluating after another year. Um, and, and ultimately, I, I just decided this was the right time for me. David, did you two ever get to the point of talking beyond that year? Like, were there, you know, it is the time to start thinking about an extension mm -hmm. to avoid the lame duck status? Yeah, and, and I think Mark was um, open and encouraging of, of those discussions. Um, uh, and it, it, because of all the reasons we've, we've just talked about, my desire to take a step back, um, my desire to exhale a little bit here, um, just it wasn't something that felt right for me to commit to right now. Matt, when were you made aware of those conversations, and what was your reaction? We've we've talked over the the course of a, a couple of weeks. I mean, David's a great teammate, and he's he's kept me informed. Uh, we ended up connecting yesterday morning um, to, to to finalize. Yeah, Matt, how big a shoes do you have to fill? I mean, they're they're huge. I mean, David's a David's you know set a standard here that's very high in in a great way, and so. 
Um, look, that, I, I'm thrilled that he's going to still be still be here as well, and he's a phone call away. Uh, but yeah, there's certainly big fill, shoes to fill. David, what will you take away from this experience? Is there any one or two moments that really step step out to you, stick out to you, or? Um, th there are probably innumerable moments um, that have been impactful for me. Um, I think the moment we probably are all at this point going to remember the most is is game 163 in, in 2018. Um, tough to feel a higher high than that one, um, probably until you win the whole thing. Um, so that's that's probably the one I'd, I'd take away right now. Matt, for you, what are the next steps in terms of navigating the transition with you know the off season and the baseball ops team and just you know the transition with the role now? Yeah, we, we connected this morning with a, a small group of guys in the on the terrace level. We're gonna have a call later today with the staff um, to talk through kind of the transition and um, you know just just try to talk through what our roadmap is going to look like and and I think the, the main thing is is connecting with the people right it's 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 always about the people and um, you know a lot of them are in the room and I'm excited to get to work with all those guys and does this have a domino effect in terms of any anyone else in your front office stepping into the shoes you had filled previously and, and does this impact Greg council in any way no I think look I, I think a lot of what Mark and, and David and I have talked about is just the stability that we have here, and we do have a great foundation in place, and so I, I don't envision any any major changes there. Including with the, the major league staff? Yeah, as well. Matt, you guys have a, a handful of players that are eligible or in, kind of in the market for extensions. Um, we've asked David about that plenty, but now, now that you're in the seat, um, just what's your... What's your take on that situation and how high on the priority list for, for you in your first offseason uh, is that? Yeah, cer certainly high. I mean, look, we, we have a lot of good players here that we, we'd like to try to maintain uh, here for a long time. But but obviously, we're at the at the outset of this. And so, you know, I want to talk with the team about what how they feel. And obviously, it's, those are those are two way conversations. Right. The player has to to be on board with that as well. But we're certainly going to talk about that over the next few months. Matt stepping in uh, at this point in time, I think you guys have like 18 arbitration eligible players. There's a, there's a big checklist, a big to-do list, isn't there moving forward? Quite a bit, yeah. Um, and look, that's that's part of the business. That's what it is. But I think once we get to spring training and get going, you know, everybody's going to be excited to be there and get to work. And uh, I'm excited about the core that we have here and and uh, and ready to look to uh, to look forward to 2023. Matt, how do you think your philosophy, you and David, your philosophies are similar, or how do you think maybe they're different? You said you didn't expect a whole lot of change. Yeah, I, I think we we certainly share a, a lot of values, which is why I think we've we've worked together. I think I might do things maybe a little bit differently, but but by and large, uh, the the success here is has been a, a, a teamwork, you know, relationship, and so I, I don't envision uh, changing, you know, a, a lot here meaningfully in terms of philosophical, um, you know, philosophically going forward. What's, what's the biggest difference in how you guys view the job? Is, is there anything you can reveal on that? I don't know. I, that's a good question. Um, I had to think about that one a little bit. I, I, I think um, what, what, what resonates for me is what we have in common, which is, which is mainly focused around the people here, and, and we have a really good team of people. Matt, David articulated pretty clearly over the years his idea that the best way to win a World Series in this market is to make the playoffs every year if you can and avoid the dips. Do you, do you think you'll follow the same philosophy or do you think it will be a different philosophy? I, look, I, I think that's a, that is a, a real conversation I think I, I need to have with, with Mark um, and, and also look, re realize where we are. I think you know, from, from an organizational standpoint, what the assets we have, um, what we need to do over the next several years to, to remain competitive here. And, and, and look, that, that could take a whole up bunch of different pathways. And sometimes you're presented with things that, that you didn't expect to see happen. You know, I think several of the trades that we've made weren't there, uh, you know, at a moment where we would have been talking about this now, but then they emerge later. And so we just need to be opportunistic. And, and ultimately, I think that will lead us to a, a World Series. Navigating your first free agency coming up here soon, how do you foresee your philosophy um, with that just being in, in, implied in the job or in that part, in that process? Sure. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be same same kind of thing. It's going to be opportunistic. Uh, a lot of the guys that we've signed over the course of the season, uh, the, the time that we've been together, we didn't expect to to sign. You know, at this point in the in the off season, and so 
uh, those opportunities emerged and, and, you know, the support that we've had from Mark has been tremendous uh, since day one, since I got here. And I, I know he's going to be supportive of those opportunities. David, you mentioned how demanding this job is, but there, is there anything you're going to immediately miss? Oh, sure. I mean, it, this is, I've had, you know, I, I, some pretty tough conversations with people um, who I've worked with over the last seven years, um, who I care a lot about, um, and, and I'm going to miss all of them tremendously. Um, you know, I, I am certain once, you know, the, the calendar flips and spring training's approaching and then the season's approaching that, um, that I'm going to miss aspects of that, no question. Um, but, but in the near term, I mean, we, we all do, and, and those of you who are around us, all year, like we all, we spend more time together than we do with our actual family. So this is my family. Um, it's, it's a big part of who I am. And so not having that connection with the people with whom I've worked, um, I'm going to miss that a lot. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you, everyone.